Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play to the Moon with me, Rock Paper Mario. When we last left off, we were having a bit of trouble because nothing we seemed to try to make it um, so that Johnny's desire to go to the moon transferred back to his youth seemed to be working, and we were completely and utterly flummoxed. And poor Ava, she stayed up all night trying to figure out what was going on. Oh, you can still smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. Hmm. But, um, try as we might to try and figure out what the reason for that might be, she just couldn't. She decides that River must have something to do with it, so that she must hold the answer. But I guess there's another day's work ahead of us. Let's see what the doctor has to say. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Okay. I guess we'll go look there. This music, I love this music. This is like one of my favorite tracks in the game. It's just so kind of... Um... It's just so melancholy in one way. It's just very... I like it a lot. It's just, but it's kind of restful. It's positive melancholy. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Oh, they're all crazy from being up all night. Shh, let them sleep. I will, don't worry. We don't want any punk-ass kids running around the crazy while we're trying to do our important scientific work. So, Lily, what's up? What's going on? Talk to me. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Um, let's just ask about everything. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job and I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. I can see how living with a guy whose wife had died would help you forget about how your husband had died. <laughs> Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. Well, I suppose that's something they'd have in common. They'd have something to talk about. Like, they could grieve with one another, I don't know. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know... I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, they'll figure it out. Might as well, it's the, it's the circle of life. There's nothing to hide. And what about your future plans? This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Yeah, visit Anya. Because other, unlike other people, you know Anya. Oh, hey. Well, maybe not. You don't know Anya as well as John and River know Anya, but still. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So... Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh well. I mean, it's all in a day's work for us. Poor River by Johnny Wiles. And where's this kitchen? Neil's inside making himself a sandwich or something. Hey, morning, Watts. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Ooh. 
Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck? They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Hmm. Beta blockers, eh? Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. What are you... What you talk about, Willis? And in such a large amount... Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The boys down at the labs... Uh, <laughs> the maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. Now I've got the chief on my ass. The chief is riding on the back of a giant slog. <laughs> so what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. Because I need that one thing, and you've got that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging, inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. <laughs> back to the drawing board. Well, maybe not back to square one. I mean, you've got an idea now, I suppose. You know, this job hasn't been such a... Oh, what did I do? I don't know what I did. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. You don't know Nora. Well, you do. I don't know Nora. I don't know Nora. Likewise. Where did I get that you don't know thing from again? I can't remember. Was it Mario RPG? This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. I think it was like, oh yeah, you don't know Bowser. Oh yeah, it was like when Mallow was going on about Bowser or something. And I was like, who the fuck do you think you are? You don't know Bowser. Um, um, forgot my coffee. Yeah, d nice way to start, uh, start the day. I've actually got a cup of coffee here as well. I've got a cup of coffee, and I've actually, as a, it's in my snuffkin mug, my whatever, and I've got my um chocolate, and it smells. Quit, bra quit barging in and out of doors. Roka, it smells. <laughs> Munching on chocolate while I'm doing this. I know it's your fault for running over it. What's going on in here? What's going on in here? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. He was number one. What are you to talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. <laughs> it's like such a bitch. You know, like, don't you see what this means? I'm... what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part? Even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm meeting, missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Don't worry, just shut up and let us work. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. We're back in business, baby. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of that roadkill. Yes, I'll just- WHAT?! Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Yeah, but Watts is the one who had the good idea. Exactly, I've already done my part. <laughs> if we didn't have any roadkill, we wouldn't be able to solve our problem. Mouse, stop moving around the place. Oh, you miserable bastard, you. Um, if it helps any, I... ...did a course in roadkill removal. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> oh, Ava. No rest for the wicked. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Unless you want, like, a dedicated pair of roadkill-touching, like, animal, squirrel, cadaver, caressing gloves. <laughs> I don't know. 
We're no rush, we'll just one mosey on down. Oh. Oh, it's, oh that's the, the C sound is missing. Huh, deja vu. Seems to be the, uh, word of the, of the game is deja vu. Well, that on moon, I suppose. Memories and stuff like that. Anyway. Let's just go get this over with. Scoop this. It's a flower. I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. At least it stopped smoking. Well, hello, Mr. Squirrel. The kind of thing... The things I do for love. <laughs> it's like it's like she's like a Flintstones animal. And she's like, oh, it's a living. <laughs> it's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. What, like a pooter? <laughs> a, did you did you guys ever use a pooter? Do you know those things that you use for collecting insects and little mi mini beasts? It's like a straw thing or whatever with like a piece of gauze and you can suck up little creatures without sucking them into your mouth and they go into a jar. It's cool. Where are you going? I, uh... I... I gotta go take a leak. <laughs> you gotta fight for your right to party. That's stupid. Like in Look Who's Talking Too. And do you remember that horrific toilet then in Look Who's Talking Too? Like the talking one. It was like scary. What a mess. The crash shook everything off. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. This is Armin's copy of Swank. Armin's whatever. Ah, here it is. Received valved container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Mm mm mm. What's this? Hmm? This reminds me of a puzzle. This painkillers? Hmm. Oh well, because. Well, it's kind of normal. It's, I mean, like, we have painkillers in our house. I mean, there are painkillers everywhere. Everyone has painkillers. Received contained roadkill hors d'oeuvres. Or odor. <laughs> roadkill hors d'oeuvres. Let's mosey back on up to our, um, Johnny's house. Does the house have a name, actually? I don't think it does. Like, I mean, that's... What, I mean, like, it's really common here for houses to have names. Like, for you to name the house... And for that to appear on your address, well, I suppose I'm just used to it since I live out the country, but and like that's more normal than having a house. Like we don't have a house number; the house just has a name or whatever. Oh hey, hey girl, hey! Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go set it up. I'll be right back. Neil, this is like kind of um music of intrigue. These painkillers, I think they're yours. Hey. You shouldn't go snooping around other people's stuff. May I ask why are you on them? None of your fucking business. Piss off. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you, but... Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> a few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. <laughs> you just walked into a wall like that. What can I say? I was in deep thought. I was in pensive mood. You know how deeply I think. Come on. Ice is just a myth. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. Twas a match made in heaven, I say. <laughs> he's so he's such a such a smart ass. <laughs> Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Have you forgotten that we have a job to do, Eva or Ava? I can I still can't decide what, what I want to call her. Neil, you aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. <laughs> oh. Another little, like, popping, poking fun at the whole... At, at storyline. At, like, this game just po pokes fun at s stories in general. Like, games and... The, like, even at, at itself. It's so funny. Well, here we go. So... We, when we get to that exact point, I'll send a signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. My pleasure. The evolution of the vulture. About time you showed up. Hey, get cool your jets. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? 
fully sealed and filtered. Not like it would matter to a dead man. It would matter to everyone else. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. He's got, he doesn't have much time left. There's not much time left. This might be your last chance, you two. I forgot about her German voice, whatever. Whatever you do, and uh, good luck. <laughs> now she just talks like a, I don't know what. Look, maybe she just does lots of different voices all the time. Luck's the last thing we need, tut. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> 